Okay, lesson five, divisibility type, example one. Prove by induction that 60n minus 1 is divisible by 5 for positive integral n greater than or equal to 1. Now, this statement really means that implies that 6 to the n minus 1 equals 5j, where j is some integer. J is an integer, in other words, a multiple of it. And of course, j must be an integer. Okay, so again, for n equals 1, the left hand side of this is going to be equal to 6 minus 1, which equals 5, and of course, that's equal to 5j where j equals 1, which equals the right-hand side. Therefore, the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. Therefore, the statement, I should put that up as a statement. The statement is true for n equals 1. Now we'll assume the statement is true for n equals k. That is 6 to the k minus 1 equals 5 times j. And I call this j dashed, indicating a different sort of integer. j dash is an integer. My assumption statement. Now we have to prove true, prove the statement is true for n equals k plus 1, that is 6 to the k plus 1 minus 1 equals 5j, a different j this time, j double dash, is an integer. That's my proof statement. Now I'm going to multiply both sides, both sides of A by 6. And we get, I'll just do that in a different color. It's 6 times 6 to the k minus 1 equals 6 times 5j dash. Now this becomes 6 to the k plus 1. See, I'm trying to make the left hand side the same. Minus 6 equals 30j dash. Now, I want to make that left-hand side the same. So I'm going to leave a 1 on this side and take a 5 across the other. So I get 6 to the k plus 1 minus 1 equals 30j dash plus 5 by adding 5 to both sides. All right, so now we've got the left-hand side matching. And all this is we take out a common factor of 5. And we get 6j dash plus 1, which equals 5j double dash, where j double dash equals 6j dash plus 1. This is being an integer, therefore this must also be an integer. Okay. Therefore, we know that p is true. Okay, so I've just added this line, that standard line. Therefore, the statement is true for n equals k plus 1. Now, the statement is true for n equals 1. So by mathematical induction, the statement is true for all integral n greater than equal to 1.